Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today I'm bringing you another case review for the iPhone 7 Plus. And today we're gonna to get into the Max Boost Clear Cushion Case. Now this is the first time I've actually done a Max Boost case. Every time I'm on Amazon searching for cases, this is always one of the recommended cases that comes up. I know it's a very you know, typical style case with the clear back and the black or colored bumper going around it, but it kept popping up on my suggestion list, so I said, hey, let me go ahead and order this. Um, I don't think any, any of my subscribers, subscribers actually told me to order this, but like I said, guys, it kept popping up, so I said, hey, let's take a look at it and see how it actually fits. Now, this is the first time I've ever ran a Max Boost case. I've have seen them in the past. Um, come up for different phones that I've owned, but like I said, I've never actually used one. So let's go into this with an open mind and see how it actually fits, you know, on the phone. So the, the, the package is pretty simple, you know, not much to it. Durable, unique, stylish, be different, slim case, protective slim case, and you have some Max Boost branding up here. So let's take a look at it, see how it actually fits, see if they live up to the name. So let's take this out of the packaging. Right. Okay. Let's take a look around the case. So on that right side, we do have that raised up power button there. If it focuses, yep, raised up power button right there. Flip it over to the bottom. You have your cutout for your lighting adapter and some some very wide cutouts for your speakers grills. Um, flip it over on the left side. Volume up down button cutout for your mute toggle switch. On to the back, we do have that cutout for your camera and flash. Your back is a straight, clear, transparent back, and I do not see any branding on the side width. And we do have that shiny black, uh, jet blackish bumper going all the way around it. So let's pop the phone in the case, see how it fits. All right, let's knock some of these fingerprints off. All right. Let's take a look back around the case. So, starting on this right side, like I said, that power button, uh, I give it a 6 out of 10 maybe. Kind of mushy, not too bad. It's right on that point where you can kind of deal with it. A little mushy, but not horrible. So, could it be a little bit better. Flip it over to that bottom side. You have your cutouts for your lightning adapter and your speakers. Pretty much spot on. You know, nothing really wrong here. Pretty wide for these cutouts. Usually, usually it's a little more slimmer, but that's not a problem there. Flip it over to the left side, volume up and down, feel a lot better than the power button. So it's a little bit more tactile, can't really hear it, pretty silent, but it does feel a little bit better. And Maybe the power button may break in over time, who knows. Your mute toggle switch, shallow, right there looking at you, not bad at all. Flip it over to the back, we do have that cutout for that camera and flash. I would have been a little concerned about this flash being so close to the screen, but they gave us a black lining here, so that, ha that probably will help with a little bit of the flashback so you don't get that glare in pictures. Now, let's take a look at the lay on the table protection. Now, this case is a very thin case. It does have a very, very thin lip. I think it may be just, the way it sounds, I think it may be just over the tempered glass screen protector. So guys, this offers a very, very tiny lay on the table protection. Do not get this phone if you're looking for, excuse me, do not get this case, you know, if you're looking for heavy duty protection. It may not give it to you, but it will give you a little bit. Dropping it face first, you're kind of gambling. I don't know if it'll protect you, but there is a tiny lip when you're looking at it from here. So it does offer a tad bit lay on the protection, but be a little leery if you were to drop this face first. Flip it over with a little bit of um, caution. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at how the case actually feels and how it fits. So starting off with the sides, it's okay. I may give the fit a six or a seven. It's a little flexible, not horrible. You guys already know how this shiny material usually does. It's not bad how it does over time once it gets warmed up. You know, once you're taking out your phone and it gets hot outside, it may tend to get a little more flexible. But, you know, some people may like that, some people may not. But, and it's always, you know, it's weak in your, your usual spots. By the volume buttons here and as well down here by the touch ID button. And I feel like down here is a little more forgiving. I'm actually a little more weak, as you guys can see. Um, that's why this is probably, you know, it's a lot, it's very thin material between the speakers and the actual, if you guys can see, it's, it's not that much material between the speakers and the bottom of the device. So down here is a little bit weak. So, you know, it kind of flexes too much down here at the bottom. So it's okay. The fit is pretty decent. Like I said, guys, I give it a six out of seven. A little flexible, you know, in some areas that I don't really care for it to be. Next, let's talk about the actual feel of the case. Now, the case is it, the case keeps the phone very thin, does not, you know, provide that much protection excuse me provide that much thickness on the phone which isn't a bad thing it's also good to keep your case on your phone 
keep the slim profile, but it does have this shiny jet black texture going around. Now, that could be good or plus, you know, minus to you. For me, I, with my hands and the way they may develop moisture, I feel like that the bumper around the case will actually get a little bit slippery and may, you know, may cause you to drop your phone. But, you know, it may not be that bad with, with you know, with you and how you handle your phones. But to me, this shiny lipper around it makes the case a little bit more slippery and also is prone to more scratches. I don't know how this, you know, shiny high gloss material will do over scratches over time, but time will tell if you put this case through its paces, you can actually see how it does with holding up with scratches over time. Next, let's flip it over to the back. Now, the black does have a straight, clear, transparent, so you can show off that color of that iPhone, you know, if you choose to do so. Now, how this back of this case hands over, you know, develops some scratches over time, who knows? I don't know if they really, you know, advertise an anti-scratch coating on the back, so time will tell if this actually gets scratched up. But for right now, it is a high, you know, straight, transparent. You can see the color of your iPhone, and they do provide this case in a couple different colors, black all clear and a blue color so it's kind of weird they don't really have anything to go with your rose coals or your or your or your gold iphone they don't really have any you know gold or maybe the clear i guess would go with it but just be aware you know that this case does have a clear back if you like that and you like the shiny jet black material that's going around it it look should look pretty good definitely look pretty good if you had a jet black iphone so overall guys this case is pretty decent has a decent fit a little weaker than i like it in some places and you know i'm not a huge fan of the high gloss trim going around but it's not terrible max boost has made a pretty solid case for the iphone 7 plus so once again guys this is the max max boost clear cushion for the iphone 7 plus this case will run you 10.99 on amazon and as well guys i will drop the link to this product down in the description and once again, guys, give a huge thumbs up if you like this video, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.